Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. Let's build an interesting number guessing game with Python TK Inter in this video. The concept of the game is some random integer will be selected by the system in the specified range. In this case, the range is between 1 and 100 and the player has to guess that integer in the minimum number of guesses. Okay, so this is the game which I have developed using TK Inter and random module. So we have three buttons, start or restart game, guess button and exit button. So this guess button is by default disabled. Once you press the start game button, this button will be enabled. Now let me play this game. I am guessing a number between 1 and 100. When I give 50, it gives a hint that try a smaller number. And the number of guesses I have made so far is 1. So trying a smaller number, I give 30. Next, again, I get the hint. Try a smaller number. So, 20. Now, try a higher number. Let me give 25. So, I have guessed the correct number with 4 chances. Okay. And I got the message. Congratulations, you won. Once after the correct number is guessed by the player, this guess button will be disabled. If you want to restart the game, you can press this button. All these contents will be deleted. Okay. Once you restart, another integer will be selected by the system so you have to guess that number based on the hints provided by the system okay so this can be done easily using tkinter initially you have to import tkinter and random model we are creating a new root window this window is an instance of tkinter's tk class and then i have set the title width and height of the root window and the background color is also set okay i will explain this chance underscore var and these two functions new game and play game functions later okay so after creating the root window now we need to add widgets to this root window so widgets are contained inside the root three types of widgets are used in this application one is the label to display the text guess a number between 1 and 100 then we have this entry widget called guess input this is used to get user input and then we have comment and chance entry widgets okay comment is the hint provided to the user and chance entry widget is to display the number of guesses you have made here in the entry widget we are using an attribute called text variable which is set to chance underscore var this chance underscore var is initialized to integer variable using this method int var it means that it will hold only an integer and its default value is 0 and the value of this variable can be changed with the set method so we have seen the labels entry widgets and then we have three more buttons in this application that is one for start or restart game another for guess and the last one for exit so all these buttons are made clickable by using command attribute of button widget so every button widget will have this command attribute that we can assign to a function. So in this case for start button the command attribute is set to new game which is a function. That function will be called for guess button play game will be executed and for exit button root or destroy which will close the root window. Okay. How to control the layout? Three methods are available to control the layout. Grid method, pack method and place method. I have used grid method. Here, this grid works by splitting a window into rows and columns, similar to this structure. Okay, so you can mention the row number and column number here. Okay, and I have used one more attribute in grid method called sticky. By default, the grid geometry manager places the widget at the center of the cell, both horizontally and vertically. If you want to change this default behavior, we can use the sticky option. So, sticky equal to E means widget will stick to the right corner of the cell okay and then guess button the state is set to disabled there are two values for state disabled and normal so initially i am setting the guess button status disabled now let's see the functions two functions new game and play game new game is called whenever start or restart button is pressed so whenever that button is pressed all the previous contents will be deleted so i use delete method of entry widget to delete all the contents of the entry widget and then guess button configuration is set to normal so whenever start game is pressed guess button has to be activated and 
Whenever a new game is started, the system should generate an integer in the range 1 to 100 and it is stored in num. Okay. Then when our guess button is pressed, we are getting the user's guess. Using the get method, it will be of string data type that can be converted to integer data type and it is stored in num guess. And whenever the guess button is pressed, the chance variable value is incremented by 1. And there are three options when the number is guessed by the user. Either the number will be less than the system generated number or it may be greater than the system generated number. Or the third option is that it can be equal to the system generated number. So I have given all three options. And if the guessed number is less than the number, you can give a hint that you have to try a higher number. Else you have to try a smaller number. Or you can give a comment that you have won the game. Okay. Once you have guessed the correct number, then the guess button's state should be disabled. Okay. And finally, using set method, the value of chance will be updated in this chance underscore where text variable. This text variable is set to this chance entry. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.